ever wished you could design your own frames in canva the good news is you can in this short video we'll show you exactly how to custom frames how to create custom frames in canva step by step make sure you watch this until the very end so you don't miss any step as you can see here i have this canva frame i just created i can now add this image so we're gonna have to start with um silhouette so search for something i'll search the same dog but don't look through all the graphics here you aren't gonna find any silhouette so you're gonna have to write because we need a silhouette with video you can't do it something that's animated that not either you can't use animated graphics either that one that are colored no don't use that just please write here a uh, silhouette and then you'll be able to find the silhouette for any any dog you want so i'm gonna maybe i'm gonna use this one in this tutorial so i have this here now now the next step after you selected a dog silhouette or anything you want just make sure you write silhouette or maybe you don't have to maybe you'll be able to find depends now maybe you like to uh, look for a chair so make sure you like silhouette because if you do so, so if you write for something just chair so graphics it's gonna take some time to find a silhouette like this one it's not bad but if i write silhouette there are many more options so now getting that out of the way now what we have to do is to go to shape and here we can click on download and you're gonna have to select cf uh, you're gonna have to select the svg so let's click on here and now let's click on download and for this toilet to work we have to use now powerpoint and here in powerpoint if you have a layout like this just click on here and click on blank and then we're gonna have to go to insert picture and this pc and i'm going to select this svg i have this here as you can see and now i'm going to have to click on convert to shape and now see as you can see they're like in a group so i'm going to select i'm going to select this and delete the image because it, it was like the back the white background now i have this and what I have to do here is to go to shape fill and I'm gonna add a picture to this stock image I'm gonna write here gold or gold doesn't really matter that much so now added this image here and I'm gonna have to go to file and save this, uh, save this as a PDF now click on save save as a pdf here select pdf and uh, now i'm gonna write here custom shape and click on save and now let's go back here in canva we're gonna have to click on create a design and here we have import file click on import file and select your pdf please and now is this loading it's just loading this pdf i can click on here and now i can click on delete and when you click on delete it will actually you'll only have here this frame so that's how you do it now you can simply just look for a, uh, just for an image drag and drop and you have this and any image you want look this one is really it looks nice and i can go to edit adjust so i can add here some decrease the brightness and just added this image. now another method if you don't have powerpoint 
decided to show you a second method so i'm gonna go back here and i'm gonna write i'm gonna write some a cat now and of course all right also right here silhouette and i'll look for graphics here which one i like this one now i have this silhouette here this cat we're gonna go back to shear here don't land select this select here best for web designers animation animations and click on download now you're gonna have to head over to figma here on figma what you have to do is to click on here on this arrow pointing down and select place image and video please or use the shortcut Control shift k and now i'm gonna select here this cmg i've downloaded from canva hold shift while you drag so states put and now i'm gonna this i'm gonna see here which one it is this vector so i have this if i click on it i'll see that it, this selects the vector this cmg and also this ones here that there aren't what we need also if you hide you see that this is the one so grab it and drag it onto or, or actually drag it uh, outside of this um, group and now here design here we can actually delete this so we don't need this anymore so let's delete we only see only have this cng so let's click on fill and add some image here so if you click on fill you see here uh, image so we have this image we can choose an image but we don't have to all we have to do right now is just to click on export here and click export but make sure you select pdf as export so click on export right now click on save and now let's go back to canva and here what you have to do is click on create and then import file import this file this pdf wait for this to complete and then click on that and you can now click on it and then click on backspace or delete and you can click go to elements and add the same image works perfectly just make sure first from canva first that's actually the steps so we do actually a summary so so yeah what we covered in this uh, video to summarize is first make sure you import this svg from canva step number two head over to figma and then import your svg file to figma make sure you remove the background in figma so you work only on your svg file add a back add an image to your svg in figma and then export your svg file image image in figma as a pdf make sure it's as it's a pdf format and that's what you have to do basically i hope you found this helpful thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe for more leave your comments down below if you have any questions related to canva maybe you would like to know something how to do in canva let me know in the comment section i'll create a tutorial for you so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video